number, a value on how much pull teams have, right? And and that's the thing. It's like the underlying. I don't know. I just I just don't see a way to just make everything back to four mans. But I know that's not everyone's opinion. Shared. All right. Since we're just a two man, gonna play this slightly more passively. Slightly. Still gonna get in there and fight, but don't want to take the early damage. Word of low tax is talkative as ever. Oh yeah. Very social. They're even talkative when they're that they're losing. <laughs> That's in a bad position. Yeah, I got his leg. Yeah, we should try to stick close together. I'm with you, Charlie. Just got blood from behind. Yeah, engage the straight legs on him. Go legs. Legged. There was, I think, one more target, but I don't know. Don't worry about it if we see him. Yeah, we're looking good. Yeah, Epi got hit, so something went that way. Just got locked on. Contact. Roger. Go legs on him, too. I think oh, they're sure. gonna go for the cap. Up in there, and that's gonna be bad. I'm gonna have to worry about the cap too much here. There we go, visual. Yeah, I'm a direwolf. Idiot. I'm doing legs on direwolf golf. He's liked. Another direwolf India. Got a timber wolf right in Direwolf not. Alright, I kill a fire storm. by quite a bit. You wanna head uh Kappa? Uh yeah. I don't think you'll meet anything there. No. I'm just I'm just wondering uh Yeah we do need to worry about points now. I'm gonna split away from you and head towards Kappa. Solid. I mean it's tough because you know my own personal opinion aside I think it's always rough because I do think there are a large portion of people that enjoy the, the large man groups. And so if that's the case, I don't want to take that away from them. And now that it's already at, a lot of people enjoy it, okay. But if the changes that Russ proposed go in, I actually think that's the best of both worlds. So it basically says you take a 12 man, you're going to have X amount of weight per, per, per person. And of course you have the four by three. And then you would have, oh, well you take a five man, you have X amount of weight per person, and you have to do light heavy. So two lights, one medium, one heavy, one salt. And I think that at least that's better. There, there can be other incentives. Maybe um, smaller groups get better reward, right? I think that would uh, do it. But um, yeah.
So, you know, it's one of those things where, um, yes, I have my own opinion, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's the, the right call. Um, you know. And I like a good challenge. I will say my main issue with the group queue, and I think you would agree, um, I don't mind that, you know, the amount of mechs or stuff like that. My issue is, at no point in time should Matchmaker ever drop me in a match that statistically it knows I'm going to lose. So that's that's where I have an issue with it. So, uh, That's how the Matchmaker works. Well, I know, but that that's, I guess, my underlying issue with it. If that wasn't the case, I'd be fine. Now, it's one thing to say in Community Warfare, there's going to be, of course that's going to happen, but in a, in a public queue? Mm. Alright, we got guys going towards Sigma. Actually, we have multiples. I'm not going to try to face them alone or I'll die. No, no, don't. They're actually evening it up right now. Picking off our guys that trickle in one at a time. from target. Ooh. All right, I'm going to go after this Timberwolf. It's on Sigma. Careful, the rest of the guys aren't coming with you. Yeah. Yep, there he is. But, you know, it's funny because we were talking about that earlier on the podcast of time to kill. And when you're looking on a one mech versus one mech, it's bad, right? But, obviously, this is a team game, so the more people you have to be able to put concentrated fire. So, I still would like depth to mechs, though. Like, that's one thing I was trying to sort of get... Was it's not necessarily buffing, like, HP, but it's, it's giving equipment, like, HP values. And that, that sort of you know, comes into a factor of it's not just, oh, well, my right torso is hurting structure and then it's gone. You know, it might be my armor's gone, I'm into structure, I just lost my large pulse, just lost the double heat sink, double heat sink, double heat sink, I just took a crit engine hit, crit engine hit, boom. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's that's sort of what I'm, I'm, I'm looking for. So it's not just a, a black and white. It's not just damage applied and then components, you know, like area destroyed. I guess that's if that makes sense. So you're still objectively doing the same thing, um, but you're just sort of not prolonging it. But you're just making it a little bit more. Uh, yeah. Yeah.
Anyways, guys, for everyone watching, we will have that podcast out as soon as possible. I'll uh, bug Mama Bear to make sure uh, he gets it out. But uh, hopefully Friday, he'll be able to uh, get that to you guys. I think it was a, I think it was a good podcast. We talked about uh, Time to Kill. Um, but there is something to be said about, you know, you know, using cover, player skill level, and... It is interesting hearing at different skill levels, you'll have some people, you know, I've heard comments like, brawling is dead. And I'm like, well, I totally disagree because I brawl every single day, right? Or um, LRM, you know, Armageddon. I'm like, I drop and LRMs are easily negated at, you know, where I'm playing at. Um, or, you know, LRM, you know, boating and stuff. And it's like, well, a good LRM support mech is one that's, moving with friendlies you know anyways it, the list always goes on and on and on it's always interesting hearing the different like microcosms of players at different levels and sometimes that gets mismatched and sometimes uh um not saying player concerns aren't valid uh, i'm not saying that at different levels i'm just saying that as you move up or down into the skill levels you see different things and Usually you can say, okay, well, the reason why it's working so well at that level is because of this. Or the, the reason why LRMs aren't effective at the higher level is because of this. Um, yeah. And PGI's got all that data. I, I, I don't know. I've, I used to think, like, why do people complain about this? And the, well, the thing that opened my eyes, I've talked about it a few times, is that when they severely nerfed AC2s, and I just couldn't believe it. I could not understand why. And then somebody explained to me that it's because they were ridiculously powerful at low elo, making the game ridiculous for them. And so I understand why they nerfed it. But yeah, every weapon is used differently in all throughout the different skill levels. It's a difficult game to balance. Now, I don't know. I don't know where we can balance because there's a lot of advocates for balancing around the top tiers of ELO, in which case the AC2 would have never been nerfed. Maybe even would have gotten buffed, cool. which then that trickles down and at lower ELOs, then the AC2 would become ridiculous. So, well, I don't know. Well, isn't that why I know, I've sort of said, if you. When Paul said he standardized it, right, as far as the stats for the AC2, I even didn't like it. But now with the quirk system, you just sort of said something that's really important. One AC2 by itself isn't that bad. Having 6, 8, 12 on a team at that type of DPS level like it was, was an issue at their lower levels. So now that you have mechs that can potentially specialize just using AC2s, then you don't have to worry about them being boated by... Does that make sense? I mean, hmm. yeah, that's sort of how I picture it. They're still head. not going to be effective on the Mexican boat them, really. But well, they, they need something else. They need, they need, uh, like the BJ one. I know is getting a on pass two is getting a little bit faster cooldown. Now, yeah. I don't think that's the only thing it needs, though. I also think it needs something to where, like a a crit chance. Right now, the LB ten X has a crit chance, right? Well. If you could imagine quirks being applied to weapons, um, you could easily do that for the BJ-1 and say AC-2s have a 15% crit chance or stuff. That brings it on a whole nother level because you're, you're not necessarily worried about the, the damage potential. You're worried about once I start or I'm hitting a target without any armor, I'm knocking shit off left and right. And that's something that we don't really have right now, um, except for the LB. Um, like an actual crit-seeking weapon, we, we don't have those things. And that's another thing that I was saying is if we, if you were to look at the mechs and give them, you know, equipment HP values and make it sort of equipment dies before necessarily that the area of the mech dies, then crits actually become a pretty damn important thing, you know? Yeah. And just by increasing internal strong, you could probably do that. 
you get your crits in. And I'm sure there's a combination. Um, it's like we were talking about last night. You could easily do a slight reduction in weapon damage values and a buff in internal structure, HP, and all that, and you would still achieve the same what you're going for. So there are multiple ways to achieve the same goal. Um, or at least, sort of. Thunderwub off in the distance. I'm gonna push across. I'm with you. Got something in A4. It's a focus. Small pulse. We might be able to cut him off here. Going for his legs. Yeah. You get one hit, he's probably out though. No, he's smoking though. I'm below you. Just I let me know. Me. Yeah, I can't drop down there. I won't be able to get no, back up. You're, you're fine. <laughs> I'll get back up. Yeah. Yeah, the uh. Guys. Yeah, they're pushing mid where they did. Yep. Banshee on the left in the open. Yep. Just go CT. He's not shielding. Oh, there he's shielding. Nice, nice. Echo? Yeah, shooting his legs. He's legged. I don't know which leg he lost. There it is. Good. I'm looking at the Atlas across the way. Roger. Yeah, they're starting to pull it down there. Yeah, this is good though, they can't get back up. They got mostly flightless mechs. Yeah, a lot of them are crit. UAB. Ah. Charlie behind us. Yeah. Drop the blackjack. Ah, I got. Headed your way. Hunchback India is down. Thunderbolt Foxtrot. He's down. Griffin's down. Good. All right, we when they dropped to low ground, that was the end. Two mechs. Right leg's about to go. Target destroyed. And there's a raven. And there's wow, really good fucking job there. Really good. They had mostly legs with no jump jets. Once they dropped down, they couldn't get back up, and their torso pitch wasn't good enough to engage us effectively. That was a very, very good game.
Well, it's uh, sort of like I was saying is if if you look at even the, like the clan weapons, if ballistic damage and missiles are actually in a good place, then you don't want to buff them because it inherently makes you know boating them even stronger, which we already know like six uac fives on a dire wolf and stuff like that so if the case is the in, for the player at least player behavior is to maximize damage potential because of weight and heat then lasers need to either have a little bit more heat or longer duration um i think if you force them i mean you remember how the the er large got like it was up to like a two second or whatever it was, it was, that was really annoying. Yeah, it was <laughs> annoying, but from a balance perspective, you know what I'm saying? Like, that is sort of yeah. what we're facing, right? Is the fact of you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do something. But if you don't touch, if if you just basically say, clan mechs, we're not gonna really mess with the weapon systems. You're still left with the fact of laser vomit is the go-to and with community warfare. So I still think, clan uh, energy weapons, and especially because how many of the mechs can basically boat them very easily and effective they need to be toned down a bit or if you don't want to tone down their damage potential you need to give them you know longer duration and possibly a little bit more heat because you still want the lights to be able to do some damage right so i think that would be a good combination and the quirks for clans are sort of unique too because even if you look at how they're applied currently and there are quirks for clans right now but if you list them out the one issue you got to be careful with is any weapon quirk you give to an omni mech will be applied to all of its omni pods right and so for instance on the timberwolf if you were metaphorically give the right arm of the prime a you know energy cooldown it would inadvertently affect all of the other weapon energy on that mech so you have to be very careful with what weapon quirks you give but I think some maneuverability and some, even some, what happens to negative. I don't know. It, it's one of those things where you want the clan weapons to be powerful because at the li lighter end categories they need that, but at the top end heavy they're doing so much just easy damage. It really isn't hard to just pull the trigger on five yeah. weapon systems and bruh, 45 damage, right? I mean, that's not yeah. that's not hard. Same thing was happening before with, like, the Hunchback 4P and stuff. But, I mean, the, it's not that much damage, right? And it's not that much range, but... Yeah, I think it. I think it's the overwhelming damage of the clan lasers that turned it into laser bomb. The Hunchback 4P, while, yes, it could both lasers... People washing lasers over you is like never a prize. It's 30 damage distributed to a bunch of different locations. But with the clans, you're doing 42 upwards of 42 damage higher usually. That's only six medium lasers, 42 damage. You do that enough times at an enemy, they're just gonna die. And it takes almost nothing. You just point and click in the general area of the mech, and you wash your lasers over them enough times, they'll die. That's laser vomit. So you know. And again, so I, I feel like, and you don't want to boost the ballistics and missile of the clans per se, because it has an inverted effect. That's where I feel like, just like the AC2s, or, or just like IS weapons, you standardize them across the board for clans. But then what you do is, if you want that, um, if you want that summoner to take an LBX, 20 or 10 or 5 or some type of ballistics you have to incentivize it on that particular chassis or and or omnipod so yes but it, it like i said it's touchy because if you put on the left arm on the summoner uh, uh, an lb family let's just say it affects all lbx um and you give it an lb family uh whatever well it also can take a left and right torso ballistic as well so what someone could do is put the arm on there, not put anything on it, but then take the left and right torso. It, players are just going to do that. I don't think it's necessarily wrong, but you do have to be aware of what can happen when you apply to the Omnipods. So. This, we know they're close range. Yeah. And there's unfortunately no real great sight lines on this map. Yeah, we might wanna... 
I think the best bet would be to get the higher ground. Yeah, we got the good side at least. You know, a part of me, I know you were mentioning, you know, getting tripped up, and that's one thing I don't like as well, but I will say that would be a part of life. I mean, and I know that's not a, it's one of those realisms, come on, Bill. But your mech... your mech pilot and your neuro helmet and all that to keep you on your feet. You should be able to lift your knee up to go over this Yeah, roots. that would happen. Your mech computer would lift it over and all that, but this is a game, so... I don't know. Just, it, just it, some it, of these can definitely. It's just dedicated, scalable. Like no matter what, you can climb it. Yeah, they just need to put that in. So you can climb over log. All these little stairs, they just need, but they they need it from both ends. Contact right side. Yeah. UAV check. Are you countered right now? Uh, yeah. Um, no, I'm just because they're not a counter. I'm just engaging them. You want to pop UAV? As much damage on their lights. I'm guessing. So there's a dual gauss sniping in the background. It's probably the catapult K2 from last drop. though. Yeah, they're not on the right side here at all. Yeah, they put what they went lily. Seriously? They went the low that's to. the worst place you can possibly go. Okay. Alright, hold on. I don't know. What are those? The light mechs again? I got low signal again. I'm with you. It's behind it's coming around behind us. Three mechs. It's probably the lights again. Yep, I'm with you. Oh, I can't go through there. I got him on seismic. They're right on the other side of the terrain. They stopped. Yeah, their team's camping out back there. We'll want to hit them from the right side here. That's a locust. Yep. There they are. Foxtrot. Engage the Banshee's legs to the right of the Foxtrot. He's legged already. Good job. Yeah, now I'm gonna shoot the fire. Star or the Thunderbolt. Uh, whoa, Raven right in front of you. Yeah, he's legged. Switching over to Foxtrot. Yeah. I have no idea what just happened. Atlas, yeah. right on your left. ECM right in oh, front of geez. you. Yeah, get out of there. Yeah, I didn't even see it. I'll tank. I need to get past you. I'm very hurt. Actually, we should maybe just pull back and regroup with our team. Oh, yeah, it was that Atlas. I didn't even see him. Yeah, he's hiding behind cover. He's engaging. I'm yeah. engaging. Right torso is pulling through, about to be. We're good, we got this. Yeah. AC 20 is not. Try to finish me. Down. Yeah, let's go. God, what just hit me in the back? Fire started. Yeah, he got me in this one. That's too hurt. Any of the lights could have finished me, I will. Of course, I just shut down. Yeah, that's messed up. 
catapults a crit. He's gonna die right now. Gas explosion. Freaking fire starters, man. That was yeah, my own fault. He's a beast. I just alphaed when I started up, I would have been fine. Probably could have survived that too. Hmm. Come on, Phil. Uh, strong, I don't think an atlas is a free kill. I mean, I wasn't going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe that close range with an atlas, especially in that close confines, but if there's three of us and one of him, yeah, then I can capitalize. But I know where to aim, too. Right torso, knock out the AC-20, and left torso, knock out the, you know, SRMs. I mean, that's the thing is, if you scale down the fights, let's just say you do it, you have a two on two or three on three mechs change as far as their strengths. It's like, okay, yeah, that can tank a lot more damage. But when you're getting shot by five, six, eight, twelve people, um, it's a little bit different. Green. Alice is still good mech. No denying. Maybe at some certain levels of me. I don't know. They're not good, but they're perfectly viable now. You mostly need a team to support you in whatever you're going to do. They're, I'll say they're not great probably in solo queue, but in a team environment, they're still very good. If you have a close range engagement, what would you, what would you rather have? A direwolf or a uh, Atlas? In a point blank engagement, yeah. uh, Atlas. Yep. It's faster. Anything off of people standing on top of me at the Dire Wolf. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's faster with way better hitboxes and geometry. Uh, Tuzan, the, the also the reason the Atlases used to be hard to destroy was. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of mechs. You basically had, I remember closed beta and even right after open beta, you only had the Centurion and the Hunchback. To a, a Centurion and a Hunchback going up against an Atlas? Yeah, uh, you're going to have a, a tough time and uh, you're probably going to come out of it hurting. So I guess that's that's the difference is you have a whole lot more mechs on the, I mean, obviously the King Crab coming out as well. You got to look, that's another 100 ton assault that is going to be able to do something no other assault can do right now as far as is which is dual 20s but in my opinion it's going to be still very situational i mean to utilize dual 20s effectively you're going to have to be close and that mech is going to be slow too so um it'll be interesting seeing it played and how it's played public solo queue and then also in comp play if it's even used i mean i say comp play Comp play sort of encapsulates all of comp play, from run, hunter, die, minimalistic rules, to Merrick, to all of them out there. So um, there are different levels of comp play and different, uh, you know, leagues in itself in comp play. So 
Like, it's interesting, you know, they do the uh, Stock McMondays or whatever. It's a completely different thing. And it's not a bad thing to, you know, have something like that. I think it's fun. It's it's having to work with what you're given. And, uh, you know, so. Well, this is the first time I've played a Timberwolf in, since the jump jet changes came in. So I think it's, it's been well over a month, month and a half, something like that. Oh, longer. Yeah, yeah I haven't. I've been enjoying the, the medium span quirks too much. <laughs> What's your opinion on increasing projectile speed for PCs even further? Mm. Okay, they're, not, they're barely taken now, and the rise of laser vomit has kind of put them under. They're barely yeah. ever fielded anymore. I guess what I'm trying to look because at they're is too slow. Too slow or too, slow too much heat? They could lower the heat, leave them the same speed, and they'd probably be okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is there's two there's two different ways. Um, yep. They're not reliable enough of a weapon. They well, take it's a trade-off because I mean, what, what you're basically saying is, any other weapon. should we trade between peeps and laser vomit or just peep vomit? I mean, I like having a variety in the battlefield. Obviously, with clans right now, it's all laser. That's what I'm saying. Is peeps in general, I think, are fine, I guess, but it's lasers. So just swapping that out isn't going to change anything. Having Not swapping, but increasing the speed back to a relative. Like, it's near where it was before. See if it can stand up against SRMs and uh, lasers. Because they they did a bunch of changes all right next to each other. They yeah. they decreased the effectiveness of jump jets, SRMs got fixed, and PPCs got savagely nerfed all back to back to back. So we never got an idea of what it looks like when they're interacting with each other. I think a lot of... Well, I know on past two, a lot of mechs that have PPCs are getting velocity increase, so that may affect uh, some of the mechs. I don't know. I, I feel like PPCs are in a good place. I just would say if PPCs are supposed to be used on a certain mech, then it gets like a quirk. It's the same, in my, in my opinion, it's the same thing with like AC2s or whatever. It's It has a huge effect on the entire game when weapon changes. A uh, little shit. Sorry. There's something with large lasers, probably four large laser helmet. Right? Hellbringer left side fishing. Probably uh help him out. Yep, multiples. Right in front of you. Hellbringer down there. Charlie. Yeah, we gotta go help our guys out on the left. They're dropping in hard on them. The entire team is over there, dude. My way, watch it, Foxtrot. It's right on top of me. New target acquired. Fuel at 25%. Yeah, they just shoot through that, man. Acquired. Yeah. That's some good coordination. Acquired. Usually that doesn't work. Up top, Kit Fox. Crit CT. We 
We've done some damage to a lot of them though, so... Yeah. It's not over, but since we're not in great shape. Let's go legs on everything. Unless it's already hurt. Left side of uh, the doorway. Yep, you're engaging it. Seven. New target acquired. Yeah, unfortunately, our is not sufficient for this drop. Oh, how did he not die? With you, they're pushing in hard. That Timberwolf is correct, though. Lima. Three, four, five, six. It's like no. It's not an even fight. <laughs> that was one of those where matchmaker says you're gonna lose this drop. I think we could have done it if we'd yeah. Would have required the Probably the four people that spawn on the left to just keep moving instead of turning around to engage. Yep. And then once we decided that they we needed to help them, the guys behind us didn't really come and do much. Alright, I'm switching to Timberwolf quick. Yeah, velocity of ballistics has a big impact uh, as far as their usefulness. I think that's one of the reasons why, too, like, um, I think laser duration is a very important court. I know on pass 2, a lot of mechs will be gaining laser duration buffs. Also, ballistic velocity is, I would say, is a huge one, especially for the larger caliber, uh, AC-20, 10s. Um, that's why the Hunchback 4G, Yenlo, and stuff... They're able to snap off a shot, and you don't have to lead as much. You don't have to. I don't. It, it's 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 a big deal. Um, at the end of the day, uh, Z's why, as far as uh, some of the, the ballistic uh, velocities, maybe not as fast as real life. It's because it's a game. At the end of the day, this isn't a simulator recreating, you know, actual BattleTech, uh, you know, real world. Um, it's not like you're trying to do like a World War II or modern day tank shooter where you can, you know, use those, uh, you know, real life uh, trajectories and velocities and all that. But, um... yeah, that's that's where I feel like the quirks are really important is to look at each chassis and say, OK, well, what can this do? If you know a mech is going to be 
carrying a, a mid to heavy size ballistic, but it can only do one of them and it's backed up by a few energy, i.e. like Yen Lo, it needs to have a very, very powerful boost to ballistic performance, velocity, um, range would, is also nice with the velocity just because now your maximum effective range has been changed. So whereas before you were only doing 20 damage at 270 meters, now you're doing 20 damage at 350 and then diminishing returns as you go out. So, you know. Yeah. Pull up your chat just one second so I can see your the peeps. The peeps. So I think it's just one of those where uh, You look at uh, some of the mechs without quirks or without any emphasis on that particular AC-20 being unique or AC-10 or why, you know, any of that. It's some of these mechs, the reality of it is, will just be over, you know, underperforming compared to the others. I mean, that's what you see. That's why the, the Klein mechs are so, I mean, every, that's why they're so powerful, so, because they can outperform pretty much everything in that same weight bracket. I mean, or weight class, Timberwolf. Yeah. But the quirks help to close that gap a little bit. Yeah. There's a few mechs that stand out as significantly better than they were. Firestart A, Thunderbolt 5 SS. Going on hated moose yes this is a free-to-play title head of the register download and if you have any questions feel free to ask got plenty of people in chat that can lead you to resources answer questions and then of course i'll do my best to uh answer any What if you treated the clans very similar to IS as far as what if you toned down a lot of the, the, the laser weapons on the clans, right? Significantly. Or, you know, a good amount. But then on an individual chassis and an individual omnipod, you gave, uh, like, for instance, if you, if you normalized uh, ER mediums a little bit more, right? You brought them down, normalized them. With their their IS counterparts, but then for like the Nova, you could give it a you know decreased uh, heat, but decreased heat or maybe a, a a heat loss, but you lost range on the ER mediums, but you gained the ability to you know uh, fire a little bit more or something like that. I mean, I think because what like I said before, if if you decrease the damage values on ER mediums, it's going to affect the lights as well, and the lights are already sort of in a bad place compared to the IS counterparts, but they're not made to be anti-light max, but you, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't, know I don't know. It's definitely a unique flavor to the IS lasers, the and versus the clan lasers. The IS have far shorter beam duration, but do less damage, less range. What if you... Clans. Clans all, you know, higher beam duration and stuff. Higher damage. And what if you increase duration know, on uh, the late clan lasers? Even more? Oh yeah. man, that's annoying as hell. I mean, but... It would be good, be good for balance, but annoying as hell. <laughs> I 
You know what it really annoys me? Shiny mechs. Is my mech shiny? Yeah, you're very shiny. Oh yeah, it is. Oh god. I mean, you, you've been around mi military vehicles. It has... They have what's called cart paint. It has no shininess. It's completely flat. I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, now looking in third person, you're right. Fractal. Fractal Timberwolf paint is pretty damn shiny. No, it's just it's just the mech. It's that uh it's the specular on it. Alright, let's do this. You got mechs behind you. Oh yeah. They were taking theta already. Yeah, there's multiple Timberwolves up there. Spot. You gotta fall back to the team. The team is dragging their feet. For no reason. Yeah, they're back off. See if we can get the enemy to poke a little bit on us. Counter snipe. There's enemy UAV. Down. That was a bad shot. We have direwolves moving off of the front line, 100% mechs that aren't even pulling the trigger. I'm off to a good start. Moving with the uh, either we stay here or and hold for a little bit longer. Coming in front. They're right. grouping up really hard right here. Is there hemorrhaging? They're pushing. Our guys, yeah, our guys need to come around from behind right now, or this is gonna be it. Above, Delta. Yeah, I gotta pull back. There's even a dire wolf coming from behind. Let's turn around and use this dire wolf behind us. Yep, we're gonna have to be quick. Nothing, nothing. Whew. Wish there was a way out of this. There's not. Boat's been sitting back there getting free hits. Oh, there I go. All those mechs that went on that pointless flanking. Totally doomed us. Any chance we had, totally thrown away.
Well, impossible game number two in a row. Good stuff. Be right back. Really needed those guys to, yeah. Anyways, guys, what's going on out there? All the Twitch viewers on both sides. Got uh, I'm streaming, Jaeger streaming. If you want to head over and check out Jaeger stream, you can do that as well. Go get the link for you really quick for those guys out there. Jaeger stream. Go drop that in there for those that want to head over there and view as well. Maybe dual stream it up. Hopefully you guys are having a good night, just doing some late night mech drops. Me and Jaeger are doing what uh, I consider the hardest queue in the game, which is two man groups. Yeah, we had um, a Shadowhawk zero damage, a Nova like 40 damage, an Atlas 40 some odd damage. Um, so we had the, and then, Wasn't happening. yeah. Not possible. Unwary says, anyone have previews to the Clan Wave 2 Faction Warhorns? I can't seem to find them. The reason you can't find them is they haven't been released yet. That is why. But I would suspect you'll see some stuff very, very soon. Well, I will say, uh, Mav and, and Strong, uh, what I do for mechs is every single time I get done playing with that mech, I automatically take off the modules for it and save it. That way I never have to worry about, oh, where's my radar depth or anything like that. Uh, it's, it's a pain. I wish the whole module system being able to swap out was a lot more streamlined, so I didn't have to do that. But that's how I prevent me going where the hell is my radar dip. I, you know. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Atkinson and Moto are going in your chat. So that's one, the one thing I will say is in a discussion, you can agree to disagree. Like, there's no reason, like, okay, so what? Like, people disagree with me all the time. I'm not going to call them idiots. It's like, okay, hey, cool. That's, that's all right. I may not agree with it. That's all right. Sorry uh, to my, ch uh, my viewers, I'm, I'm watching uh, Jaeger's chat, and it's like, it's being uh, taken over by Atkinson and Moto going <laughs> at each other. <laughs> uh, Moto's being Moto, and Atkinson being Atkinson. The two hitting each other. Two unmovable objects. Your perma ban from Angie Angie Atkinson is because of your behavior, not because you had a different opinion. Alright, dude, what you wanna do? Alright, just gonna move down the right and try to. Yeah, there's a different group of people, this should be better. I'm gonna move down the right side and try to pick stragglers as they cross the water. That felt good. New right side, low key. Okay, I'm not worried about that. Yeah, we'll let our pugs pick them off. There's plenty of damage we can do to the people crossing the water. Ooh, echo. Going legs on Bravo Jaeger Mac. Roger. Left leg. Legged. Got me. Yeah. Yes. Right leg's almost down. Jump. Ooh, shit, sorry, dude. <laughs> TJ just ran right in front of me. So Ryan's about to have a bad day. Nice mark guy stuff. If he stays where yeah, if he stays where he is, he's probably gonna be fine. Uh, Did the enemy team already rotate? No, yeah. no, he's not fine. Enemy team left him. Yeah, he's he's, he's screwed. screwed. <laughs> Back crit CT. They're up at the top. Our Atlas DDC is about to be stomped on. If he moves, yeah, he's doing smart thing. He's cutting towards us. He'll be fine. Contact. Legs on India's storm crew. New target Right side, Charlie. Oh, never mind. Ooh, 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 ooh. Punch back. Yeah, I'm on him. <laughs> UAV. 
be... How you doing down there? I'm doing okay. I'm back up top. Engaging it. Roger. They're engaging our guys down below. Foxtrot. And Golf. Yeah, we're looking good. Be over in just a second. That was better. Good job, Dave. We had a few more people on the team besides us to put up a fight. Always good to see. Our team is smart with their movement. I'm proud of them for that. Late night mech porn, the hardcore type two two man groups. <laughs> Trev's bro rant. So apparently Atkinson wants to hop on your TS and send me a wall of text basically saying it's my fault the game like it is and I have no fucking clue and Actually, hold on, let me just copy and paste. Oh my. Such wonderful people. I'll post in your chat. And mine. Just so you can sort of see what the people... I mean, look. It's like, come on, dude. Really? Personal attacks? I'm sorry. You obviously have other things going on in your life. And you know, there is a difference between sharing an opinion and going on personal attacks. So if you are watching this Atkinson, which I assume you still are, because, well, you were, you were watching a second ago. Um, going after someone and attacking them verbally and trying to trump someone by uh, attacking them personally or whatever, again, doesn't help your cause. I mean, if you want to have a discussion, have a discussion. But don't go off on the tangent and call someone an idiot or whatever the hell because then basically just undermines your whole idea of an adult conversation so it is what it is a man's passionate about his genders but that's well it's fine yeah. being passionate but what right does that give to be a you know a tool to someone else it doesn't give you any yeah. right and if you want Everybody to act like should. that just Everybody just should be just don't be surprised when, you know, especially when it comes to like chat and stuff, you lose your privilege. I don't have to put up with it and I should, no one should, else should have to. I mean, you reap what you sow. I mean, I have no problem. I've never, I have never attacked anybody for having a personal opinion. I've never said they're absolutely wrong. They're, you know, a fucking idiot. I've never done that. I will say I don't agree with you and that's it. 
But as soon as you cross over that line, sorry. Like, you, you, someone's like, oh, it's the internet. That's how it is. No, I'm sorry. This is how I treat people in real life. I mean, you want to, you're not going to come up to me and, and do that in real life. And if you do, there's repercussions when you do that shit in real life. So, you know. You know, an MP didn't attack him, by the way. Uh, it, again, he's claiming the whole victim card. He actually went on to personally attack MP, and uh, anyways, I have the chat logs for it because I saw it in the streamer, um, our, our streamer chat earlier. So he went off on a tangent and wanted to personally attack Zach and MP. So as soon as that happened, and then he was asking to be banned because blah blah blah, you know, the whole thing. So again, it was sort of Moto is correct and kick it sort of spinning the whole victim card when he's not really the victim at all so anyways enough of that move on he's got enough limelight nice hp yeah the corsair h uh, 100i i have the h 80i um yeah it's solid Yeah, I've got my 2500K running at 4.3. Um, yeah. I used to do custom water cooling setups, and I was like, you know, I just, I just can't be bothered anymore. You know, it's like, it's it's a very expensive hobby that has no return, <laughs> right? So I was like, I'm just going to get a Corsair H80, see if I like it. I did, love it. Recommend it to everyone. When I build systems for people... Um, if they're doing a gaming setup, I recommend it. Charge the middle. Right. I haven't had this map for a while. What are we up against? Ooh, this guy's suck. Okay, yeah. Charge mid, it's the best we can do. See, it's saying push D5. Uh, you know what? Sure. I I don't favor our odds mid, actually. No. Even though it's the best course of action, I don't favor our odds. They're saying push in. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're good. Let's do we're it. We're gonna be the first ones in there, so just keep that in mind. That's fine. Break left, right? We can safely go right because we have people spawn on the right. The enemy doesn't come from there. We'll want to pull range as much as possible. Contact. Target acquired. K2. Well. No chest. Using strikes to deter them from coming in. Roger, we can push on this jester. Yeah. Same cover as much as you can, our team's pushed around the other way. Yeah, if they push on me, I'm gonna be in a bad spot. I'll drop down the lava. Yeah. Oh, he pushed right past me, has no idea. Dropping down with you. Yeah. K2's on me. Or, uh, Jester. It's Jester. Yeah. He's backed off. We're hemorrhaging, guys. Oh man, we are. Yeah. 
We bought them a lot of time. They got to fight enemies out. They outnumbered the enemies. And he's still going down. I go pull back. Zero five already. Yeah. We had people stop in the doorway. It doesn't matter how much you ask people to not do that. They will always do it. We need to go back the other way, Phil, if you can. Yeah, uh, they're pushing. It's the only way to regroup. Got a Timberwolf on my six with Lerms. Shit. My leg's about to go. Yeah, I'm out. Sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Nope, it's alright. And we lost on literally every direction, despite outnumbering them in a couple areas. Mm -hmm. Because the two of us destroyed so many, that was never gonna happen. That's yet another drop where we're never ever gonna win. Possible drop number three. I almost feel like on that case, it's it's like okay, well, I don't know, I don't know where to. Yeah. Yeah, I think the only thing we could have done was try to not go mid. Actually, was to. Was, there was a very strong possibility we weren't going to win it, just exactly like what happened. Maybe if everybody pushed in, but a few people got scared and just stood at the doorways instead. But what if I get shot? I'm an 85 ton mech, I don't want to get shot. <laughs> the bucket. Good night, Opie. Have a good one, bud. See you tomorrow. It will be interesting seeing how Community Warfare starts to play out because, like we were talking about earlier in the podcast, I think the one of the benefits that IS will have is just numbers. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how many people are, you know, clan, clan players, clan loyalists, um, how that plays out. It, it'll be interesting. And it's the first time outside, well, actually, it's the first time in a game, in a mechware game, we're actually going to have a live Intersphere map or conquest is happening before this you basically had stuff like mbt 
um, in Macquarie 4, but it was all outside of the game in a for you know in in a league that you know all that stuff. Now you're having that happen in game. Stuff going to be going on 24/7. Um, I'm, I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So. I, it's going to be interesting. I know that somebody posted up stats on number of units based on Intersphere Clan a while ago, and there were there's a, a lot, lot yeah. of Intersphere units. <laughs> but that was only units I think they had seen tags for or had posted somewhere. So you got to think it's going to even be more. And there's people that have, have waited to come back to the game for community warfare, and then you got the people that'll come in from you know from the game for Community Warfare, and yeah, it's, you're gonna have hundreds, possibly thousands of units participating in it. For me, anyways, just the Battletech nerd in me is just like, this is gonna be the first live iteration of a planetary intersphere clan conflict that we've ever had. Like, there, there is that. So sometimes I think we do have to step back and say, hey, this is actually going down. Yes, it's taken a long time. It would have been great if this would have happened a long time ago, but it is happening, and it's the first time we've ever had it in a game. So you know, kudos. Like, I feel like that's a that's a really cool thing. It's gonna be interesting to see who the queues are longer for in Intersphere or Clans. Because for the first time, we're going to have uh, potentially, I don't know, way more Intersphere players than Clan players, and the Intersphere players will have to wait for a, a drop. Wait for more Clan players to become available. Very exciting. Parjara says, Phil, I'm new to ECM Pilot. I'm using the HBR. For the first time, when's the best way? When is the best time to counter? Uh, um, there's there's not a whole lot of times you actually have to counter, unless it's like a straight one on one. Usually, I don't have to counter unless it's a one on one uh, with another ECM mech, because that way my friendlies can lock on and know where I am. So. I guess that when you have a one-on-one -on -one with a, another ECM mech, but if not, don't bother. Keep them under ECM and then just lock onto the target so your friendlies can see it. Hmm. See what I'm saying? Like, if all all of this is so cool, th if this was, middle, if right. it was in the middle, if it was like a part, I, f I feel like the lily pad's a great idea, but. It's just going to be a very underwhelming used part of the map because it's off to the side. Yeah, it's a bad idea to go down there pretty much ever unless you're going for the cap point. And only jump jet light mechs should be going for that cap point. Otherwise, you should never ever go down there. Team moves out a little bit more and makes it complicated, but I don't know if they're going to. There's Atlas charging. I'm stuck. Ah. Yeah, you got uh, Atlas charging on you. Need help? Got yeah, more than that. Oh, our team is paralyzed in the back there, aren't they? They're not even coming. Yeah, everybody's in a ball, not actually moving. Good stuff. Everybody's just backing up further and further. This is the opposite of what people should be doing. Alright, dude, I'm with you. You want to go and push up, take the hill, or too late no, now? No, just going to fall back to the team. It's far too late. 
plunge it. Falcon, you guys are cowardly. What's going on here? Could have pushed out and crushed half their team, but S key. Mash that S key. Yeah, they're pushing in right side, Direwolf. Oop, dragon. Dire wolf just over here. God, I hate our strikes. Yeah, it's not gonna be our best not just to hang back. Jade Falcon guys have made it pretty clear that they don't want to move. If you look towards D5 back here, there's a dire wolf. I just ripped off his uh, left torso. He's still in open? Yeah, Atlas now. Yeah, I see. They struck us. strike on us on the right. Uh, the Jade Falcon guys have bailed even further. We gotta fall back. Yeah, GTFO. Go, 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 go. I'll cover. What oh, the hell are they Right doing? on top of you. Delta just dropped down. Give him a good burn to the CT. He's shooting me, so you should have free shots. He's down. Bad shape. What the hell are the Jade Falcon guys doing? Going for an extreme flake maneuver? We're about yeah, to lose the yeah, boar's head over there. Completely off the line. Yeah. The good news is they're hurt. Yeah. Bad news is we're dropping. Let me use them as shields for a little bit now. I'm gonna take the high ground. Got Juliet coming at you. It's 8%. 87% summer. Blaze me. Stuff to be caught on. Dire Wolf over here. He's stripped. I'm going after him. The number of absolutely counterproductive movements that happened with our team this round. I do not get it. So weird. Strange drop. I don't know. Good job, dude. No kills for me. Oh.
Atlas. Thanks for the friend invite, man. gonna say for all my viewers out there don't forget to check out the warhammer t-shirts are up on sale um i got them in friday when i was on vacation so all of them went out on was it yesterday yeah anyway so if you pre-ordered it went out yesterday or monday monday one of those days anyway um leftover stock is on our store so if you'd like to grab one uh you can if you'd like to see what one looks like i can show you right here just one second so this is uh, the second run we've done on this. You guys chose the color, which is the, the black and blue. Here's the front, obviously, and obviously the back. But uh, if you guys want one, head over to our store, check it out. And uh, they go quick, so <laughs> if you want one of your size, snatch one up while you can. I've become a folding t-shirt master just FYI, because <laughs> like they'll come in the box, and um, for my vendor, and to get them in, you know, or the the padded envelopes, it's just easier if they're folded. So when I get them, they're all just all the sizes are like folded in half together. So I take them out and I fold them the correct way and stack them, and they're on the the shelf there. So I can just grab one when I need one of that size and put them in a you know padded envelope and. Yeah. Uh, Paulo, asks, uh, Paulo says, did the Warden bundles go out yet? Yeah. Warden and the Crusader, the Timberwolf gear, that was ordered on whenever it was, uh, Tuesday of Monday of last week. Um, they're actually expected to ship to me today, so December 4th, which means they'll get to me probably in next week sometimes. I package them up and ship them directly to you guys, so expect them to go out next week, hopefully, as soon as uh, I get the Get him here. I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna rock my uh, Timberwolf footy everywhere. Pretty much, it's, it's gonna happen. What's Timberhood footy look like? Wait, you didn't see it? No. What? Dude, I asked. Oh, you weren't. Well, I'll show you pictures afterwards, but. Oh. In the streamer chat, in the Skype chat for the streamers, I was asking, hey, if you guys want one, let me know. Um, so oh. I can. But you weren't in there, were you? So. No, probably not. It's alright. We only got, I think, two of each size extra hoodies. So uh, I guess you'll be taking one of those. Um, but uh, I'll talk to you later about it. It was disproportionately Warden compared. It was like three to one as far as the orders we got for the Warden to Crusader bottles. So that was interesting. Got your FP on the other side. All right. Some kind of wolf clan with us. Clan Shadow Wolf. I don't know. We should see if there's a brigand. <laughs> on one.
I think we should do a stream sometime of hardcore mode, third person only. say out of all the games I play MechaWare is definitely one of the most complicated for in-game skills that you need to know not necessarily like Eve or something where it's just complicated in general you know uh, we need to cover our dire wolf over here before he dies is he being engaged no, no, I, he's just, I just saw he's a blip out yep I'm gonna move up the right side and engage anything I find. Yep, they're pushing left side. Oh, yeah, there. Our uh, dire wolf's about to be kicked in the ass. You're not in the same lance. Oh shit, that's why. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna put us in the same lance, quick. There. I've moved down the right side and was engaging their guys in the back. I'm gonna move down the right side even further now. Yeah, I'm in the front here, with, I think, with you. Yep, we're here. Jaeger 6A is gonna be dead in a moment. Yeah. Two targets. There's probably a dire wolf there as well. Okay. UAV just went up. Enemy, yep. Down. Good job. I'm gonna move out far to the right to engage targets around the right side. It's just a better angle. Our miss link's got himself legs somehow. Juliet. Our turrets are engaging them. Good. Shooting the boar's head, to Charlie. Yep. Take a this little left bit side. higher ground. If you see golf, right towards one golf. No, it's probably an X. No, it's not an X. -O. This has a small. Golf is crit C. Oh, he's about to die. I'm just standing like right in the open and not even being shot at. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's like, how am I getting away with this? How you doing over there? I'm doing great. I was gonna say you shouldn't even be hurt. If you need a fallback position, let me know. Yeah. I'm pretty damn good. I'm just getting free damage, man. No one's even. Yeah, me too.
I'm gonna push it now for them. Finish them off. Farming on a chip. Like, I almost feel bad, but we lost guys, so I guess not. <laughs> kind of surprised we lost guys, actually. Why does that hunchback have small pulse? Why do you have. No! No! <laughs> Target destroyed. Yeah, you too. Uh, we had four people on our team put out pretty significant damage. Yeah. No, they were basically in the open, no cover. Yeah, yeah. That's one thing I would like on Caustic is at least some, you know, mech-sized, you know, boulders on the outsides there. So not close in where you couldn't move, but you know what I'm saying? Like outside the, the caldera is just death zone. There's nothing. They did, they did it to themselves there, though. Oh, yeah, they yeah. They could have no. used yeah. their position. I'm just saying, in general, that map, that's one thing I've always wanted is, like, some ways to bound for cover outside of just the caldera itself. But, uh, looks like Atkinson already got banned again. I'm gonna go ahead and switch up mechs after this, uh, guys. For those watching, I've just been running. We, we have to carry pretty heavily in these mechs, so I may switch up the uh, loadout or switch up the the mechs. But we haven't run in, into anything too angry, so there's that. Good night, Parajar. Have a good night, man. <laughs> so I'm switching into a Mist Links and carrying. Yeah, that's exactly, I think, what I said. Yeah, somebody said I should do that earlier. <laughs> no. I'm a masochist? I don't think I could do that. So you see how this is like pathing? It's direct, it's clear. I like this. It gets very complicated in the middle there. I feel like it's okay to have like these bushes. They don't have any collisions or anything. Yeah, cool. Yeah. All right. All these little trees. This is great. But this just becomes a mess in here of yeah. just collisions. If if they that was removed or toned down, I think it'd be great. I think it would help the map. And you got contacts right in front of you. I'm gonna let the team form up. I imagine the large group on our team has something going on. Some kind of plan. Contact rear. Bravo. Yeah, it's about to get crazy. Got struck. Yeah, they're taking that high ground. I'm just gonna back off the counter. Me UAV. Actually, multiple enemy UAVs, I believe. Yep. Oh yeah. One's down. down. Good job. 
Seismic Delta 5. Delta. We have a K2 trying to fight them. Enemy team's too coordinated. This is going to go poorly. We're severely outclassed here. Sort of pinned in here, I stick out, I get hammered. Yeah, we're stuck. Alright, they're pushing over. Ah! <laughs> Oh, it's SWK. Or Antonius. They used to be SW. What are they now? Yeah, it's got up on that high oh, ground. There. Yeah. See, this is a prime example of why the what we were talking about earlier, like having visual, uh, you know, occlusion basically of the tree and the canopies and stuff, but it doesn't affect, you know, anything else. And so basically, all it is is it just creates issues being able to see your targets. And I don't think that is necessarily a bad thing, but is that something that you actually wanted or intended? Um, like, there's no point of even having the tree canopies other than, you know, I don't know. Yeah, our team got mauled there, man. Yeah, that was not going to happen. Possible game number four. The ones we've lost have not close. They were 0% chance from the beginning. What are you switching to? Um, I don't know. What are you thinking? When was the last time you did your Stormcrow? Same time as your Wolf? Yeah, I haven't played it since Quirks. You want to go to Stormcrows? Yeah. Okay. I'll try Stormcrows. Unfortunately, and you know, just the way meta game works, it also is laser boat. Uh, no, I'll take my UAC, my UAC version. Oh, if you got something else that works, by all means. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll challenge myself. Now, I've got the okay. C, which has the uh, actually UAC five, one, two, three, four, five ER mediums. It's a little bit different. May not be the end all be all, but. I'll do a uh, weapon cooldown on it. Uh, the UAC 5. Where are you? Range on the ER mediums. And radar tip. I do have to change camo. Hold on. I just really have always liked the Raider. I don't know what it is. I just can't. I can't get away <laughs> from it. The Raider camo is just awesome. Change the camo on invasion models, invasion variants. Yeah, me too. Cool. It's bright. All right. 
right, save it. <laughs> so, no, I drank my coffee earlier. Uh, Lorecore, my day's going good, man. Uh, I had a good podcast earlier with uh, Jaeger and guys. Um, yeah, it's been a good day. Can't believe it's already December. Uh. We, uh, me and my wife move into our new house in 14 days, so that's pretty damn exciting. My first ever home, so it's pretty big news, pretty cool, so. I was going to say, uh, Jaeger, you know, first Civ Div, man, you're going to say, uh, that's, that's your path, man. <laughs> I've not heard that before. <laughs> no, first they did. No, no. I get what you mean, though. There's this uh, podcast uh, I follow. Um, I might get it for you, but uh, it's uh, founders are a few Marines, and they, you know, they sit down and talk to vets, you know, all shapes and size of, you know, what they're doing in life and stuff after you know their service and stuff. So it's really cool. But yeah, first they did. They're uh, they have the OFP shirts, you know, on own fucking, you know, programs, stuff like that. So, it's, anyways, I got a t shirt for them, I'll uh, show it. Yeah, pull them up really quick. It's called the uh, Veteran Empire. chat for you guys. Yeah, Z's, I'm, um, so I move, we're closing on our house on the 18th, and we, we start moving on the 19th, and, uh, you know, obviously, Community Warfare is 16th, so I'm only gonna have, like, a day, like, I'm not gonna pack my computer or anything until, like, the last minute, like, it, the, the computer will be the last thing to go, right? <laughs> Uh, strong Paul, yeah, I have to unfortunately get this. So I have AT and T uh, UVerse uh, TV internet, it's freaking fantastic. Well, where we're moving to, the only op well, there's two options. There's Time Warner cable and like CenturyLink, which is complete crap too. But so the news, there's no AT and T service where I'm going, which sucks. So yeah, let's. As long as my internet's stable, whatever. Like, it's a new house, it'll have new you know, wiring and all that, so, yeah, I don't know. It, um, yeah. So, not too happy about it, but it's what you, sacrifices you make.
Well, I started streaming. I didn't even know you were going to stream. And then, so I, you know, Trev's the... <laughs> Sorry, Trev. <laughs> Bromance is a lie. Nope. It's not a lie. It's a lie. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's the uh, angry group. Uh oh. I don't know who dogs are. Who do I? Does not look good. Devil dogs. I totally forgot what mech I was in. Passive. All right, cool. Let me check my heat on this. Don't really stir the jizz. I don't actually. Yeah. I'm not actually gonna try to trade with anybody that knows I'm there. I'm just gonna try to hit and run. Get shots until they see where I am. ECM counter right in front of us? Yeah. Right above us. It's not like a, a fire starter A, great. What is countering him though? Oh, don't know. Fire Star A didn't really. Well, I guess he did scout us going right, but not us personally. Contact crossword. 